Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a sponge cake, but not the sponge cake you might be thinking. I'm going to be making a cake that actually looks like the sponge you use to wash your dishes. I know it sounds totally gross, you know with like the green scrubby and the yellow bottom. Yes, that's what I'm going to be making today because so many of you got in touch with me saying that I should make this. I remember seeing this for the first time a few years ago on Pee Wee Herman's blog. He shared it and I'm like, oh yes. And I almost made it then and I didn't, so let's make it now. So I think many of you learned about this from Emma's Goodies. I'll put a link down below to her original video and recipe. She recently did a video about this and I'll be following her recipe with a couple tweaks. <laughs> this recipe looks totally cute and gross at the same time and I'm hoping it tastes delicious too. I don't see why it wouldn't. It's just cake after all with a bunch of food coloring. So let's go on and make this. So the first thing you need to do is take 135 grams of butter and that works out to be one stick plus one tablespoon and this should be nice and soft. If it's slightly melted, that's fine too. To that, we're gonna add 120 grams of granulated sugar or a half a cup plus one tablespoon. Work that in, you can just use a spatula, you don't need a mixer for this recipe. Cream that nicely. So Emma's version is a lemon cake. I decided to make this vanilla because I'm not a huge fan of lemon cake. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Using a whisk, we're gonna incorporate three medium eggs, one at a time, mixing well in between. So once we have that all nice and creamed and whisked together, next we're gonna add 140 grams or one cup of flour, half teaspoon of baking powder, and then we're gonna add three tablespoons of buttermilk. Mix to combine. You don't want to overmix this because you don't want a tough cake. So now we're ready to dye the batter. We're going to reserve one third of it, and that's going to be the green or top portion of the sponge cake. If you want to be very accurate, you can use a scale. So take the smaller portion of batter, and we're going to dye it green. I didn't have green paste food coloring, so I combined yellow and blue together with a touch of black to get kind of a nice olive green color. And then we're going to pour it into a seven inch prepared brownie pan. So I sprayed mine with baking spray and lined it with parchment paper. And use an offset spatula to make sure that everything is smooth. For the two thirds of our batter, we're gonna dye that a nice sunny yellow. Mix that well, and again, pour it into a prepared pan. And then give it a few swift taps on your countertop to get rid of any bubbles. Next, you're gonna pop these into a 320 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven or 160 degrees Celsius oven, and bake these for 10 minutes initially. The green cake, because it's so much thinner, will cook much faster. So start checking it at 10 minutes. When a toothpick comes out clean, it should be done. And the yellow cake should take an additional five or 10 minutes. So allow the cakes to completely cool before we assemble the cakes. So here we are at this stage of assembly. So this is pretty straightforward. We're just gonna stack our cakes, make some foam, and then we've got a sponge cake, a real sponge cake. Alrighty, let's do this. So the beauty of parchment paper is that we can just pull out the cake like this. Look at that, so easy. And boom. Now we're just gonna gently remove the parchment paper. Set that down here. So this is honey from my own hives. I harvested it last summer and it has since crystallized. And I used to not like crystallized honey, but now I've really come to love it and actually prefer it to runny honey because it stays on my toast and I love the little crunchy crystallized bits. I love the texture, so great. So I'm gonna be using that. I'm gonna spread a layer of this honey. It's probably about a tablespoon or so, just enough to act like glue. Now there are two sides to my cake here. I'm gonna opt to use the fuzzier side on here because we're gonna be using our bread knife to remove a layer of cake so it's nice and fuzzy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, next we're gonna take a serrated bread knife and just take off the very top layer of this green portion of cake to make it look fuzzy so it looks like the scrubber part of the sponge. So this is the first time I've made a lookalike cake, but not the first time I've made food that looks like something that it's not. 
For example, I've made edible soap, edible towels. I've also made ice cream that looks like fried chicken and ice cream that looks like a steak. So it's super fun and playful to make food look like something else. Slice right through it. <laughs> That's so satisfying. It looks just like those dollar store sponges, like perfectly. Yeah, this is so great. Okay. Now we're gonna cut these into little rectangles, just like you can buy in the sponge packs. Saw it in half. Wipe off the knife. Oh, I love it! It's so great. So, so great. Okay, so for the finishing touch, we need some bubbles. Now to do this, I'm just gonna use non-fat milk and a whisk. Let me get a bowl. And we're gonna whisk this like we're making a frappe topping for our coffee drink. Just like that. There we have it, bubbles. Okay, my lovelies, let's give this sponge cake a taste. <laughs> I'm so pleased about how this turned out. It looks just great. It looks like a, the very similitude is very impressive. I love it. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. Delicious, buttery, rich, dense without feeling heavy. It tastes like a very moist pound cake. Absolutely scrum diddly umptious. It's just very yellow and green. I love it. Mm. Such a great cake recipe. It doesn't need any frosting whatsoever. The level of sweetness is perfect and it looks like a dish sponge. <sighs> Mmm! That's great. Mmm! Mmm! That's how you make a cake that looks like a dish sponge. Absolutely delicious. Very easy recipe actually to put together. Just need some food coloring. You probably have most of the pantry items already. And it makes for a delicious cake. If you don't make it look like a sponge, you'll still end up with a delicious buttery cake. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future recipes and such. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. I'm gonna wash the dishes with my sponge.